enchant Slanesh, defile this tree. Oh, that Remo disgusting. The ritual begins. Slanesh is a pussy. He didn't even send his real guys, he sent his kids. Oh, son of a- That's a one! I might want to use your uh, yeah. use your words carefully. Yeah. Glad I showed up today so I can let them they view the, all the beautiful things the rains have. Oh, you I want to cry. Spawn, I will become spawn, a spawn, demon. Spawn, spawn. He will ascend to demonhood. And Jonathan, I. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. To the channel, we're here, mm -hmm. uh, still trying to avoid the virus. That's why we got masks on at Jonathan's house. And we're very gracious for him, uh, letting us in to his abode to play some Home Hammer. Uh, so that's what we normally do, but you know, uh, new space. Uh, so hopefully, it will favor him today because we got a pretty bloody matchup here. Mm -hmm. At least on one side, the other one is into some things. Other than blood, <laughs> I'd like not to mention them on camera. Uh, so, anyways, it's gonna be Corn versus the children of Slanesh yeah. and the Emperor. Apparently, uh, kind of a weird matchup, but you know, it's fluffy. Corn hates Slanesh, and Slanesh hates Corn, so it makes sense that they're on this battlefield today. So, let's get right into the armies and let's get into this ninth edition battle court. All right, people, we're gonna start with the newcomers here. New channel to the army. Uh, some corn demons. This is something that is very near and dear to Jonathan's ha uh, heart. He likes demons. So, Jonathan, why don't you tell us exactly what you've brought here today? We have a battalion and a patrol. Exciting. So we'll start with the battalion. It has three bloodthirsters, two of which will become exalted. The giant one in the middle and the one with the giant axe. Okay. We have uh, four ten-man bloodthirst squads. Ooh. That's we forty. That's 40. And then there's one 10 man with a patrol. Nice. And there are 14 two 7 man flesh on squads. Okay. There are two skull cannons. Uh, that's these guys over here? Yes. Okay, yes. I remember them. And then there will be five blood crushers, which will be in deep strike, and given the banner of blood. I haven't seen these guys in a very long time, there's except a, there's for Dawn of War They kind of suck, but they're a hell of a lot of fun. They look cool. In the patrol, there is the blood throne. Okay, that's is that this thing? It is not. He is the uh, oh. Skullmaster. You can ship that. He's one HQ, and then the Blood Throne is in front of you. I there see. You this looks a little more throne-like. That would they make sense. They are uh, heralds, and then also with the patrol, it comes with another ten man blood Very awesome. simple. Okay, uh, what are your relics and warlord traits, and what do they do? The warlord is the giant, giant man. Okay, this he, this does not look like a man, but I'll take your word for it. Demon. He is an exalted bloodthirster and is taking the best. One ever the blood blessed. You cannot take more than eight wounds in a phase. Oh, that's, that's pretty sick, actually. And that big axe you see is Grum Grumalt the Destroyer, which is hands down the greatest relic ever created by Games Workshop. Would you like to tell us what it does? Basically, when you die, in addition, the first time a model with the relic is destroyed, roll a d6. On a four plus, that model is set up again at the end of the phase as close as possible with d6 wounds remaining. And it has an warlord trait where you are considered to have double the number of wounds remaining on your table. That's pretty neat. So he stands right back in. That's cool. The guy on your left with the large axe is also going to be exalted. Oh, I was pointing at him already. Well, the largest axe is the big guy, and he's the warlord. This oh, guy, okay. I apologize. He That's is okay. another exalted. He has unrivaled blood rest. So you add two to the um, charge rolls. And okay. he also has the armor of scorn. Neat. And that's it. Okay, very, very cool. So, uh, as you can see, Dill, I'm very happy that Corn has come to ruin his giant orgy on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get to the Emperor's children and we'll see how are they gonna deal with this demon threat. Uh, Let's find out. That's gross. All right, people, time for the EC veterans of the channel yes. returning from their eighth crusade oh, that's true. going into ninth. Dill, why don't you tell us what you brought? I know you've got some points increases. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were a little unfortunate, uh, but that's okay. We're gonna do. We're gonna play with what we got here. It's so. okay. I didn't think thirty noise marines for them to only get like doubled in points, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He no says. Worries. Okay. All right, so today, 
I have a single battalion detachment, and I'll be spending one CP before the game to add an extra relic. So I'll be starting with 11 CP, but let's run through what is in the detachment. So we have three HQs today, so I'll start with my first one. Uriel Solex, Chaos Lord of the Jump Pack, star of the channel, big whiffer, only has ever done something off the screen against Jonathan, so hopefully I can bring that luck here today. He has the Warlord trait, um, what is it called? Loathsome Grace. When a charge roll is made for this Warlord, you can reroll the dice, and also when you charge or perform heroic intervention, I add one to the strength and attacks characteristic. The strength will be a little wasted unless I'm hitting the fist because what I want to do today is use his relic, the Murder Sword. And the unit I am going to declare to be the victim of the Murder Sword is going to be Jonathan's big bloodthirster, the one he said I could get back up on 4+. Plus. Ooh, his Warlord. I thought that'd be fluffy. And basically, if you don't know, what the Murder Sword does is it's just like a normal power sword, but instead of like doing the normal attacks, uh, wounding, and saving uh, rules, basically if it hits, it doesn't want to wound. On Neat. That. Okay. Okay, and then next to him, I have my Demon Prince with wings, Ooh. and I'll be giving him a relic, an Emperor's Children relic from Faith and Fury, and it's called Raymond Repulsive. Basically, it allows him to reroll hit rolls, wound rolls, and charge rolls. So, yeah, pretty good. Okay. And he will also have a Ward Bolter and wings, obviously. And then finally, for my third... Uh, HQ, I have a Sorcerer, and that will be, uh, he will have a, he does not have a jump pack, even though he's floating, he'll just be a regular Sorcerer, and he will have the two powers, Presence and Warp Time. Presence basically allows you to add one to the hit rolls in the shooting phase, oh, it's added all hit rolls and everything, so shooting and fight phase, and then Warp Time, which basically allows a, a unit to uh, move again, and then one thing I did forget to mention is the Demon Prince with Wings does have diabol Diabolical Strength for his uh, power. Whoa. All right, so then for the troops. I'll start off with the big blob of cultists. Because the point increases, I can't take 30, so I'm taking 22. So, a little weird, but 22 cultists with auto guns. And then for the, the phalanx of this force, something I'm very proud of, I'm glad to finally have on the channel. Very Emperor's Children, like 30 noise marines. Obviously, you can take them in big blobs. I think of up to 20, but I'm gonna do three 10-man units, cool. and they're all kitted out the same. The sergeant will have a combi plasma, and then in the squad, there will be two Blastmasters and then seven Sonic Blasters. And today, I will not forget the rule, because there are 30 of them. They can't shoot or fight when they die, so I will not forget that. Neat. Okay, and then we can move into the Elites. So, another unit I'm really proud of, just got them done for 9th oh, edition, is 10 this. Chaos Terminators oh. coming in at 340 points. I pointed at the Mutilators for a bit. <laughs> well, I'm also proud of them. But... It's a, it's a mixed match of weapons. I kind of just did what looked cool on all of them. So I think five of, yeah, five of them have uh, dual lightning claws. Two of them have chain fists and a combi bolter. Two of them have power fists and a combi bolter. And that leaves one left. So I think... Oh yeah, the sergeant right here. Oh yeah, the sergeant, like the main sergeant of the squad, he has just a uh, combi bolter and a power fist as well. Neat. So that's ten of them. And then we can go over to the mutilators. So I have three mutilators, and I converted them from the Gellerpox Infected, and because there's not new models for them, I just assumed if, you know, they were to make new models, they'd be the same size, base size as Obliterators, because they're literally the same thing, but just close combat. And they're actually a lot cheaper than Obliterators, and with EC, I think they're going to be really good. They're only 35 points, and you can get a lot of rerolls with them. So I'm excited for them, so there's three of those guys. And then I think that's all for my elite choices. Yeah, so we can move into my heavy supports where I have my final three units. So okay. we'll start left to right. I have five Havocs, uh, two last cannons, two missile launchers. Really good when you can shoot twice with Emperor's Children. And then right next to that, we have the Hel uh, not the Helper, the Mauler Fiend, and he will have uh, Lasher Tendrils as well as Mauler Fiend Fists. And then finally, to round out the army, obviously no Chaos Space Marine. I can leave home without these. I have two obliterators, and obviously they're Marcus Slanesh, like everything else in the force, but even if you're not uh, Ember's children, I'm pretty sure you're the Marcus Slanesh now. So, right. that's it for the Chaos Space Marine Force. Very proud to have it all on the table. Finally, in its final form of what I've always wanted it to be, because a lot of times when I played Nico, it was just kind of what I had painted. So, this right. has kind of finally been my final vision for what the army's going to be. So, I'm excited. All right, cool. Okay, so going to be these guys taking on the corn. Obviously they've got a lot more shooting. They got a good way to deal with infantry for sure. Um, but we're going to see if that they can take care of it before the big guys get into their lines. So we'll come back to you. We'll do the mission and we'll get rolling for deployment. Or we'll roll to go see who goes first. They should be already deployed. Uh, so we'll get deploying now and we'll see you in a bit.
All right, everybody, so for today's mission, we have an Eternal War Strike Force mission, Scorched Earth. There are six objectives on the table, two within each of the player's deployment zones, and two 18 inches away from the center of the battlefield and 12 inches away from each of the opponent's deployment zones. Unique mission rule for Scorched Earth is Raise Objective, an action that allows your units to attempt to destroy enemy players' objectives located in their deployment zones. It is a simple action performed by any unit as long as there are no enemy units within range of said objective markers. The primary objectives for this mission are Take and Hold, a progressive scoring system that allows you to score five victory points for each of the following conditions that are satisfied. One, you control one or more objective markers. Two, you control two or more objective markers. And three, you control more objective markers than your opponent controls, giving you a grand total of 15 maximum points that you can score each round. However, you cannot score this objective in the first battle round, a rule that is consistent with all the Eternal War missions in 9th edition. For secondary objectives, each player chose three. We'll start with the Corn Demons. The first secondary objective chosen was Abhor the Witch, scoring you five victory points at the end of the battle for each enemy Psyker character that is destroyed, and three victory points for every other enemy Psyker that is destroyed. The second secondary objective chosen for the Corn Demons was Raze, the Scorched Earth specific one. At the end of the battle, a player scores five victory points if one objective marker was removed from the battlefield due to a successful Raze action, and 15 victory points if two objective markers were removed. And lastly, engage on all fronts, scoring the player two victory points at the end of their turn if they have one or more units from their army wholly within three different table quarters, and those units are all more than six inches away from the center of the battlefield, and scoring them three victory points if you satisfy these same conditions but have a unit within each table quarter of the battlefield. And as for the Emperor's Children, the first secondary objective chosen was Attrition, scoring a player four victory points at the end of the battle round if more enemy units than friendly units were destroyed this battle round. The second objective chosen was Psychic Ritual, scoring a player 15 victory points at the end of the battle if they are able to perform the following psychic action three times during the battle. Psychic Ritual action, which is a warp charge value of three. What you have to do is one Psyker character unit from your army can attempt to perform the psychic action in their psychic phase if it is within six inches of the center of the battlefield. And what is the center of the battlefield today? The psychic tree. And lastly, Emperor's Children player also chose Bring It Down, squaring them again two victory points at the end of the battle for each enemy monster or vehicle with ten wounds or less that is destroyed, and three victory points for each enemy monster or vehicle that is destroyed with eleven wounds or more. Before we jump into battle, let's declare what all the terrain pieces are. These armored containers, of course, will be considered armored containers. These broken down walls will be considered ruins, therefore the imprint of them will become area terrain. These taller altars will be considered hills. The tree in the middle of the battlefield will be considered obscuring. And finally, these larger pieces of ruins will also be considered ruins. And now, let's get straight into the battle. Okay, people, this is it. This is the state of the board at the end of deployment. Yes. Looks like we're on a chaos planet and it looks like uh, Slanesh, the boys of Slanesh were defiling it with some unspeakable acts and Korn was not very happy with that. He sends three bloodthirsters to deal with it <laughs> as well as a lot of little smaller demons. I can totally understand. Makes Sl sense. Slanesh was a pussy. He didn't even send his real guys. He sent his kids. Exactly. We're gonna Whoa. spank these kids. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, well. We'll, we'll, we'll like that, though. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's true. Uh, you might want to use, uh, okay. use your words carefully yeah, there. That's fair, that's fair. Okay. All right, that's it. That's pretty much it. Jo just something to note, Jonathan. How much CP are you starting with? I'm starting with four. He's starting with four people, changes to the how, yeah. the, how detachments work, and yeah. the amount of stuff he wanted to bring significantly changed has everything. left him a little star for command points. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, Corn has blessed him. Uh, I guess he did give them a bunch of relics, so they are pretty blessed. Yeah. But now that's all that's left is the important roll-off to see who goes first. This is huge. Uh, it, it is pretty big, because obviously Corn doesn't want to take all this shooting We're from the noise range. away from the psychic tree. It's your home, so you can roll first. Oh, son of a... That's a one! <laughs> you... Give me a roll-off. Give me a roll-off. A roll-off? I'm going roll, to roll a two just to rub it in your face. A oh, a six. Shout out to the store. Thank you. Okay, I'm well, gonna, it looks just, like Emperor's like CP, and I'm gonna seize. You can't do that. Yeah, right. I wish you could. Do you wanna? You wanna roll? See if you could get a six. Anyways? I wanna cry. Okay. Uh, let's get <laughs> Emperor's children first turn. Unfortunate for the corn, but we'll see. 
Okay, people, emperors, children, movement phase is complete. They are humping it forward in more ways than one. Oh yeah. And they're about to open fire in more ways than one against corn. But first, we're gonna do the psychic phase. Uh, well, I, I guess I should say the movement. Uh, these guys kind of are moving up the hill. Mauler feeds running forward. Uh, cultists hanging out with their big uh, winged friend here. Mm -hmm. More noise marines. Uh, tentacle guys. Uh, kind of covering the back. Uh, I, don't, they, I don't know if I'd be comfortable with that. Uh, these noise marines moving forward, followed by Wiffy Whiffington here. No. Um, and the Havocs in the building have stayed still. Yes. Hoping to unleash their payload from afar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go into the psychic phase. Dill has some psychic powers. One of them is concerned with objectives. The ritual begins. The ritual begins. This tree will not be left unstained. Okay. <laughs> So the first power is, uh, is it just called Psychic Ritual? I don't even know what the power is actually called, but we're doing the Psychic Ritual. Psychic Ritual, on the right. tree. yes. And he the middle of the board is actually the middle of the tree. Right. And so. the Demon Prince ran up just yeah. to do that. Yes. Okay. So I need a three on two dice. Okay, makes sense. I will not power Jonathan's dice. Ruling. Okay, an eight. That's an eight. You want to dispel that? Obviously. Jonathan does have ways to dispel. Wait, 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 wait. Explain it. How do you do that? Oh, the brass collars on the beautiful dogs Act like a, a psychic. Mess. What's the range? Now you can also, okay. Now you can also don't you don't you have something that lets you deny on a four plus two? What? No. Oh, is that only like word bears or something? Yeah. Never mind. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, that's good. All right. No. Of course. Another one. Did not deny. We love to see it. So that hey, is. <laughs> you're getting him out of the way now. I need to do it two more times to get 15 points at the end of the game. Right. That's actually okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, you better get up there. Unless the sluggers are dead. That's true. Okay. So my next two powers. I did uh, say incorrectly in my list, uh, I gave the sorcerer, uh, I didn't mean to give him warp time, I was trying to give him uh, delightful agonies. The Emperor's Children one that gives him a feel no pain. Okay. So I'm already cheating, but it's fine. Okay, we're going to go first, we're going to put delightful agonies, which is a 5 plus feel no pain, onto my demon prince. Onto my demon prince, okay. And that is a warp charge value of 6. Cool. Pass. That's a 7. That does pass. Okay, do you have another unit within the, 24? The other dogs. Well, oh. what's, what's the other one where you, where you shoot? What's the, what's the prescience? Is that, are, you, are you in range though? Because you're back here. What are the other dogs? No, no, the back. Exactly. Okay. Unfortunate. So no more denies. All right. So uh, delightful enemies for this guy. Cool. And then Make I'm gonna do down. prescience on my havocs. Prescience from the guy back here on the havocs. Make him shoot a little better. A seven. I get it on an eight. A six. Now that's a six. That's fantastic. Mm. That is fantastic. Now, now the crane is down. Uh -oh. The crane is down. Classic. Oh boy. Channel. Uh. If I do now, if you want to reroll, you have to reroll right? both. I do have a Now, 11. a 7 is not a great Oh, office. I forgot. It's, it's a I, little more than 50%. I got a command point at the start of the phase. He did. So I'm going to spend that. Okay. Because I want to get it. Okay. 6. What? 6. A 6 on one dice and a 1 on the other. So a 7. And That's a 9. So that goes off. <laughs> so they will have plus 1 to hit. Yes. All right. That was the psychic phase. Let's get into the shooting phase. This is going to be rough. Let's see if Corn can handle it. All right, people. First thing we're going to start is going to be the havocs. We're going big and we're going in hard against... Big guy right here, the Jumbo. Warlord. Not gonna matter for the, oh, the Warlord, because Dill didn't really take any objectives for Warlord, but he'd be a good model to get off the table. Wait, so he can't, okay, he can only take eight wounds in a phase, huh? So, yes. Uh, this is tough, because obviously your best shooting unit is the one you usually want to shoot twice. Right. So it's like, and I also want to maybe put Veterans of the Long War on them, but I, it might be overkill because I can only do eight wounds on him. Right. So what, what is his toughness? Seven. Seven, so I'm wounding on, I'd be wounding on twos with Veterans. But I could shoot him at something else. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put Veterans of the Long War on him. Okay. Okay. So they're plus one to wound. Okay. And yeah, we're gonna shoot now. Okay. So I'll so start shooting a big guy over here. Yeah, we're gonna start with the two missile launchers. Awesome. And uh, we're gonna hit on twos. Okay. What's the guy's toughness? Seven, he said. Okay. Right? Yeah. Twos are rolling ones because of the Chaos Lord. Oh, there's a one. Oh, look at that. Not for long. Ooh. Uh, re -roll on <laughs> two, twos, twos to wound. No reroll. Okay. okay, so two, go through, and this is just on your end roll. So minus two. Makes one, fails one. D6 damage. Okay. So obviously, <clears throat> a six. Oh my. That's a one. All right, well, okay. I got the last cannons. <laughs> you got the last cannons. All right, so hitting on twos. Hitting on twos. Ones. Nice. Nice. Wooding on twos. Wooding on twos. Nice. Two, two more. Ones. All right, end rolls again. Jonathan, show us what you got. <laughs> Makes one, fails one. All right, okay. 50 50. Let's get a six. That's damage. pretty good. Oh, oh my god. So he's taking three damage. Woo! What was that about overkill? Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but still, uh, yeah, a little bit of a whiffer, but I mean, there's a lot more shooting to come. 
Uh, uh, I wouldn't be too worried. I think I might actually... Uh, is Veterans 2 CP? Veterans is one. Veterans one. is 1. It's 1 CP? Yes. Okay. I think I might spend my command reroll now Oh. for a damage, okay. just because I'm going to... It already got all the way through everything. It, but so. it could go from a 2 to a 1. Yeah, it could. It could do a lot of things. It could also go to a 6, like this one. A 3. Okay, you know what? It's better. <laughs> it's better. It's better. <laughs> a total of 4, Dill? Yeah, a total of 4 wounds. Okay, so he's halfway, halfway to the there. amount of wounds he's allowed to take for the game. Or, sorry, <laughs> for the round. <laughs> for the game. For the game, I <laughs> say. Alright, all right, so that's them shot. Uh, if he's going to cacophony company, then that's got to be at the end. So let's get some shooting uh, with some of the other guys. Yes. All right, after the Habits are done shooting, we're going to go into this Noise Marine squad here, yes. shooting into the Blood Letters right here, trying to thin out some troops. Now, mm -hmm. uh, these three on the left here will uh, be obscured because they cannot draw a line of sight clearly to a base, but they can see them. Mm -hmm. um, and Dill yes. wants to show off some new mechanics here of night. Oh, yes, so there's a new thing. Blast oh. weapons are back. So because his 10-man uh, unit is uh, obviously 10 men, and not 11, I do get a minimum of three on my blast weapons. That because is the correct. Because master is D3, that's max. It's max. All right. Congratulations. So we're hitting on threes, we're rolling once with the blast master, and this will be like the, uh, obviously the blast version of it. So it's a little uh, weak. Oh no. Oh wait. He's looking at the, he's looking at the uh, oh, stats here, people. This is kind of interesting. Because of the 10 man unit, the, uh, there's a D6 version of it. Right. And that would still be three shots. So it's like, if you have a better profile, that's D3, wouldn't you always want to use the... Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So okay. I'm going to use a single frequency. It is heavy, though, so I will be hitting on fours. Okay. And I'm rerolling once. Oh, all right. Okay. Talking too much shit. Yep. Okay. All right, so then we'll go <laughs> All right, good, good mechanic. Good mechanic. The 18 shots from the uh, non-obscured um, Sonic Blaster. 18 shots? That's yeah, a lot. Yeah, they're three shots each. That's a lot. Yes. Okay. Eight. So threes are rolling ones. Uh, 18. He's gathering the dice. I need to roll yeah. the dice. I don't see a lot of twos in there. Of course, I'm allergic to them. Just two twos, so 16 hits. Oh, uh, there's another two in there. Oh, let's not, we don't have to talk about that. And then threes to wound, because they are toughness three. Correct. That is a solid amount of wounds, actually. Alrighty. So three, six, nine, ten. So fail them all, ten. and I'll get a point. Or, I'll get a point towards the fish. Okay, John. I'm gonna roll the altar. Five up safe. It oh! looks like Corn has blessed the altar, people. Five, six, that is five, five sixes. Uh, so five blood letters go down, which you know is is a pretty heavy price, but it could have been a lot worse. Absolute filth, right there. We still do have more shooting, though. Yes. Yeah, so I will do the. Uh, okay. There's the single sonic blaster that okay. is obscured, so that's hitting on fours, reeling once. Good thing. Okay. All right. And remember, people, Threes. even though it's obscured. A minus one can only go to a minus one. That, oh, that's a good point. That is good to remember. Okay, so yes. uh, one more save so far. He's rolling on the altar. <laughs> it's a corn altar. Corn has blessed the dice. All right, and now the heavy uh, blast master. So it, because it's only a minus one still. Uh, fours. Just fours. Yeah, and then rolling once. Nice. Nice. And these will be twos to wound. Twos to wound. Okay. Uh, two saves, two fellows. No. Doesn't make those. Two more go down. There's only three left in the unit, unfortunately. And I do have a combi plasma left, so oh, okay. I'll just shoot the plasma, and I will not overcharge. Okay. Hitting on uh, four. Nice. Wounding on a two still. A two, yep. Oh. That's one. No, okay. They minced up that blood litter unit. There's only ten of them in there, mm -hmm. um, but still pretty good work. All right, guys, next up, we're just moving down the line. More noise marines yes. shooting at the hounds of mm -hmm. corn. Yes, and we're going to use a CP. First time I get to use it, Excru excruciating frequencies on noise brains. Basically, it adds one to the strength and damage characteristics of their Blast Masters, Sonic Blasters, and Doom Sirens. And okay. because those hounds are two wounds, I think it'll work well. Okay, now before you shoot, what song are they blasting? Wonderwall. Oh, it, it, remove the unit. I'm Remo disgusted. Just remove the unit. You might as well. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Okay, so um, these two can't see because the tree is in the way. Okay. So we'll just start uh, first with the combi plasma. Um, I will... So one sh yeah, I might as well overcharge. I think that's the cool thing to do. Yeah. He is in range. So okay. yeah, I'll overcharge. One shot. Not obscured. So hitting on a three, we're rolling one. Because of the three, demon prince. One. Okay. Yes. That's it. And then what's their toughness? Four. Four, so wounding on a two. So... Uh, you save this four. or kills a dog. That is a dog dead. Yes. All right, and then we'll do we'll do the one. Uh, yeah. 
He's thinking. You know? Yeah, the whole, the whole, I'm saying the whole unit declared. So yeah, 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 the, the unit I picked it just made matter. it. Yeah, yeah. Right. For, for future units. Okay, so then I'll just shoot the Blastmaster really quickly. Uh, okay. I do have to roll how many it does. Oh, tough. I, should I do the bit? The D6 shot one or the D3? You do get minimum three at least because there is six. I believe. Oh, really? Yeah, maximum six is for, I think, 11 oh, or more. Oh, okay, okay. So then I will do the uh, D3 one. So okay. I'll just get three shots for that. Alrighty. And then we will hit on... He did move, so it is hitting on Forge. Rolling once. Okay. Two hits. And then wounding on oh, Sorry, two. one hit, two misses. So one wound. Another wound. Five up. He makes nice. that. Nice. Okay. Very good. And then we have the Sonic Blaster. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 shots again. Mass shots coming in. And remember, people, these are going to be strength five. Uh, two damage? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Coming into the shot. All right, hitting on... I'll roll over here because it's a little easier. Okay. Hitting on three rolling ones. Oh, you hate to see the twos. A few twos in there. There's a few. One, one, three roll. Nice. And then these will wound on threes. Yes, because it's straight five. Oh, very nice. Uh, That's a good roll. Jonathan, you're going to need to three, make some saves here. Six, nine, ten saves. Ten saves. Will Corn bless these dice? No, because he didn't roll on the altar. He didn't roll on the altar. Oh, no. That's the unit. Yep, that's the unit gone because of the two damage. I am glad I showed up today so I can let Dill debut the all the beautiful things the Marines have. Yeah, uh, it's, it's nice. Son of a it's bitch. nice. Uh, although honestly, uh, this should probably do something for how expensive they are now. All right, Wonderwall. Oh, I did tell you it was Wonderwall. Yeah, so he did, did say it was Wonderwall, so you know, foregone conclusion. Yeah, okay, expected. let's make some, let's shoot something else. Okay, people, we're gathering the dice for this final unit of Noise Marines yes. to shoot. This probably will be the last unit to shoot. The uh, concert other finale. Than, other than the uh, uh, two, two shot, or the double shooting, mm -hmm. if he wants to. So they're all going into the dogs here now. We are saying these are the outline of ruins here, um, so they will just be obscured. They would get light cover, but they just have an emblem, so no one really cares about that. <laughs> no all right. All right. So this will be 24 shots from the Sonic Blaster. Yes. So these are back to their normal profile. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Of course. It was a hot roll. It was. It was a decent roll. Oh, wow. uh, cover coming into effect there a little bit. It does. That actually makes a big difference. And this will wound on fours now because uh, these guys don't have a strategy on them. Yes. Uh, okay. Four, six, seven saves. Seven saves, sir. Where would you like to roll? Okay. Cornell. Look. Yeah, it's it's look, working. It worked. So one it and worked. a half. Okay. okay. One and a half dogs down. And then I can move on to the uh, Sonic Blast. No, not the. The big one, Blastmasters. Okay. So the unit was six at least, right? Six. Yes. Okay. Six. Seven. So three shots each from it, hitting on. Oh yeah, four still. Correct. Okay. And then wound, wounding on twos. Double oh, ones oh. there. Oh. Unfortunate. Okay. I hate to see it. That's okay. You have a plasma gun now. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, so plasma gun will be. Yeah, I'll overcharge. Oh, he doesn't have a reroll though. One guy only has a wound left. Oh so. yeah, that's a good point. So no, I mean, no I guess overcharge. So. Good thing. Okay. Good thing. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah, that's it for my noise marine. That's so it for the noise marine. I think so I'll just double shoot. Makes sense to me. But who is his target going to be? Because remember, this guy can only take another four wounds. Not sure if it'll be worth the other two CP. Maybe he wants to put damage on something else. Uh, we'll let him decide. Yeah. All right, people. Like we thought, double shooting. Two last cannons going into here, trying to get the other four wounds off of him, and then the missile launchers are going to try to finish off this unit of blood letters. Yeah, for attrition. So I'll Makes start with sense. the missile launchers. Two d6 uh, frag missile shots. Okay. Six. Six. Nice. Okay, nice. All right, and these are hitting on two still. Yep. For rolling ones. The presidents. Oh, good thing. And then they're wounding on threes. Okay. Oh, they still have veterans on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're wounding twos. On twos. Yep. Oh, perfect. Uh, that's a lot. Jonathan, so six saves. You want to use the corn altar? Of course. Oh. No, not today. Uh, blood letters have been wiped. All right, cool. Now into the last cannon. Yes, yeah, so two last cannon shots, hitting on twos, or rolling ones. Good thing. Okay, <laughs> good thing. Okay. Okay, that was a two. Yeah, that was a two. And then wounding on threes. Threes. Uh, oh, twos. Twos. Oh, my. Now, now Jonathan, I... It's the big dog. I think I was going to stick around this for a little is, while. I feel like that's a moral victory in and of yeah, itself. I needed it. I needed <laughs> the double bit. ones classic. I appreciate so. that. You hate to see it. But he did spend the 2 CP to get rid of that unit. So mm -hmm. going towards attrition, that will help him because it will force Jonathan to try to kill two units this turn yes. if he can. But is that that's pretty much the turn? Yeah, because uh, my other shooting units are in deep strike. So. All right, makes a lot of sense. Okay, so Dill is moving up forward. He is uh, getting ready to do bad things to that tree. 
Um, I already did for a little bit. He did. He did for a little bit. It's true. So now Jonathan's gonna counter punch. It wasn't. It wasn't the craziest. It wasn't the craziest Elvis trick. I'm not you. talking to you. I told you it wasn't that much. It wasn't the craziest Elvis trick. Lost two units, but I mean, could have gone a lot worse. Uh, so now let's see what exactly Jonathan punch does back. to fight back. All right, people. This is what it looks like when you make corn mad. Uh, these dogs here. Uh, on the right side, advanced. Uh, got so a six, which is they're, beautiful. Yeah, so they're a little farther up uh, this hill here. Mm -hmm. um, there is a strat that Jonathan can use, uh, one of the only in the book, he says, <laughs> that can let them advance and charge, hopefully into these guys. Uh, everything else is just kind of moving up. He's screening out the units. He's smartly put his blood letters into advanced. Uh, 10 minutes. Move, move, move. We're good. Right. Uh, advanced. These guys are pretty fast. Uh, these guys advanced. He's kind of just screening out the Terminators, giving them hard places to put. And if these bloodthirsters can make their charges, mm. he could be in the face. I don't know, or in Dill's face. I don't know if that'll be a, a telling of the game to come. Because, you know, Dill does have a lot of chaff here. His heavy hitters are back, and he still has a lot in reserve. But yes. still, it would be nice for Korn to get some uh, get some combat going. It's not gonna happen. He says it's not going to happen. <laughs> we'll have to see. John is pretty good at rolling charges. That's my only lie. strength. We'll see what happens. Then I can re-roll with the, with the loci, so we're all right. Right. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. With which guys? Uh, if you're a character, the loci for corn is you can re-roll charges as long as you're within, a within the range of a character. Okay. That's pretty neat. Okay, well, all right. So, in that case, Jonathan doesn't have a psychic phase, uh, and he has a very limited shooting phase. So, let's see what he chooses to do there. Okay. We're going to start off the shooting phase with the Bloodthirster's Flails. Mm -hmm. Interesting. He's got a flamer and a flail. Okay. So the flamer is d6. For three. For three. Minimum three. Yeah. Minimum three, actually. Minimum three. Oh, what's the strength on it? That's a good question. It is strength eight. So two. So two. So that's three wounds onto who? No, I'm wrong. Okay. Strength five. It's strength five. Okay. okay. So two wounds. Two. Uh, what's any, the minus? Any AP? Uh, minus one. Minus one. So two, four upstairs. And this is on the noise marines? Yes, please. Okay. Save one, Save one, one. kill one, so that is one dead. Oh, but what do I get to do? Oh, wait, I'll let him finish. Yeah, I'm he, do he, the assault one. He does get to shoot. And this is strength eight, so wounds. And this is minus three. Oh, Six up. That's just messed up. I save it. No, I don't. All right, that is two noise marines dead, but they will get to shoot now that they die. We're not forgetting that one. Are going to do it now or are going to do it later? Yeah, we're going to do it now. now. Just yeah, just don't want to miss it. Thank you. Are you going to shoot more at this unit? No. No, okay. So I think I'll probably just remove... Oh, I don't want to remove my... Big guns. He doesn't want to remove the big guns. What is your charge? What's your charge distance to the get to? I believe it was a seven. Let's take a gander. It looks like a six. Oh, is it now? But you have to be with a half inch. Yeah, but it is still six. Still a six. Yes. What if I take these guys out? What if I take him out? Uh, it looks like it'll be a seven now. There you go. What about this guy? Because I have to remove two. Okay. Uh, I'll probably remove those two. Anyways. Measure this guy right here. Eight. Uh. Well. Looks like still seven. Not quite over the seven and a half mark yet, even though that was, I don't know why they did it a little more confusing. This guy uh, looks like a seven. Hmm. Easy to remember. To it's be fair, eight, eight is Korn's number. Okay, so. it's still seven. I'll just remove two of the uh, blast map, the normal sonic blasters. Okay. And I think we'll shoot because we're probably not going to do much with those guys. We'll shoot at the uh, blood letters over there. Okay, makes sense. All right, so hitting on three, rolling once. Yeah, pretty good spread. Then wounding on threes. Wounding on threes. Uh, four wounds. Four wounds now. Unfortunately, Jonathan, you you. It's not even your turn, you son of a bitch. You've taken up the the altar. You do make two though, so that is two blood letters killed. Aha. All right, now the big guy here is going to be shooting his flamer into the cultist right in front of him. D six. D six. For That's one. A wound. Unfortunate that the flamers don't follow the blast. It's a wound. It is a wound. What's the minus? One. One cultist has been killed. Damn right. And then we'll do the assault one. Okay. So four, kill. two to kill. So two dead. Okay. Two cultists. Which is dead. important. So models are dead. So the uh, the strat will come into effect. They'll okay. get an extra plus All two. All right, makes sense. And I think you just have a skull. Skull cannons. cannons. Now. All right. So let's. Uh, We're ready now. We'll go okay. skull cannon into those annoying. Um, Havocs. Okay. Six okay. shots. Six shots. Okay. So now they are obscured. So what are you hitting on? Threes originally. So I'm going to be going down to four. Yes. Make sure I'm not shooting. I do get a plus one of my safe. It's true. Yeah, it's he, nice. is in, uh, he is in. He's in cover. Here's our fours. 
Uh, uh, cover coming into play here, people. Yeah, what did they wound on? It's strength eight. So they wound on threes because their toughness five. Okay. Unfortunate. That was fun. Did you guys have fun? Because I had a great time. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> I'm uh, staying on. I'm this sorry. Side. I'm sorry to say that loud. All right, let's shoot the morphine. Okay, shoot the morphine. D six. Five. Five. Okay. Now we're not saying anything obscure. I actually get to hit this guy in a three. Oh, is he shooting through? How does it work? If you shoot through, uh, shooting through runes. Yes, I believe that is another minus one. Uh, There's any threes here? We're gonna throw the camera. I'm holding the camera tightly. All right, two misses. Okay, and these are threes. Toughness seven. Three wounds. Three minus wounds. two. It's just a battle cannon, right? That's what I believe it is. All right, Till. He's gonna roll up his saves on okay. the Mauler feet. Five up save. Five up save. Three saves coming up. Thanks for pulling. Okay. Uh, two. two go three. So you had two D three, Jonathan. Two D three, baby. Correct. We all know what happens with D three, but we're gonna change that right now. We are not. <laughs> two wounds. Two wounds. Stupid nice. stuff in the game. Well, you know what? Hey, corn is not. Known. So we're not known for our shooting phase. Not known for shooting, so let's get into the charge phase. That's what we've been waiting for. Okay, people, we're kicking off the fight phase big with the Bloodthirsters. We're going to go right to left or left to right from your point of view. We're going to start with this one over here. Who's he declaring a charge on? The Sonic Blasters. Okay. Dill, would you like to spend a CP to Overwatch? Honestly, I would if I had that one uh, rule, like if I was in cover, to make it a 5+, plus, because that's actually really cool. That it's is a great cover. rule. But I'm not going to, because I'm probably not. <sighs> Makes sense. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to. He's going to fail anyways. Okay, well. We're going to do it on the altar. This is re-rollable, but we're not going to need it. We need the 7. That's a double oh! 1. Stop shaking the camera. Stop shaking the camera. Don't touch me. <laughs> okay. We're going to go off the altar. Double, okay. Okay, a 10 makes it, and he does re-roll because of the low Kai. So he makes it. So Jonathan just wanted to show off his army rules. That's true. Sure. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Okay, what does this guy want to do? Same thing or? Uh, same thing. We'll go into the noise marines. I'm afraid okay. that prints. Okay. There's also another seven. A nine. A nine. All right. Well, now that would have. Oh no, you needed a ten for the prince. Needed a ten. You need a nine for this guy to get into the prince. Yes, that's what we're saving our Over here. precious So two bloodthirsters. Oh, no. He's poor noise marines. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, we'll save him. No, we'll save him unless he's going to the prince. Okay. So these guys, I'm going to spend one one command point. Right, and that's going to give them that's going to give them the ability to charge because you killed something in the shooting phase. No, they, they have the ability to charge automatically because I killed a model. They get plus two. Oh, okay. So that's why I was that was. I see. So, so uh, you pretty much can't so fail for, this. For hills, do they give you rules for plus one to? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, that's what I, I, I don't think there's like any so rules for it. hills. A seven, nine, more than enough. Did you declare the monarch fiend as well? I wasn't sure. I did not. Okay. Okay. So, so you're scared. I get it. So we're moving in there. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay. All right, people. This prince. Sorry, not blood a prince. Blood a bloodthirster. Blood thirster. thirster. Is going into this prince. Now, I know he's a little big, but he would be on a smaller base, so we're going to say he can fit in there. Yes. He needs a nine inch charge to get to Dill's Demon Prince. His wings are big. Yeah. Are you declaring the cultist as well? I or need to, yes. Just because I think I'm going to be an inch of both of them. It'd be silly enough. Right. You need yeah. a nine. He needs a nine to get to both of them. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, so. To alter or to not to alter? Let's trust the alter. Corn. That's a nine! Yes. That bloodthirster is going in, and that's the warlord. No, it's not. It's not. On this little chicken. It's not? Uriel's the warlord. No, no, no. I meant this guy's the warlord. Oh. No, he's not either. You Wait, made who, one of his alters the warlord. Who's your warlord? This some bitch. Oh, you did make it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay so the warlord is coming in. Didn't even need the reroll. Okay. Now, something to note, though, before we get into this, is uh, the noise marines and all the Slanesh stuff will get to fight even if it dies. Oh, no, no. Sorry. They have an interrupt. Uh, the noise marines will get to fight, but these guys all have a, basically a free interrupt, so Dill won't need to spend two CP to interrupt. Uh, it'll just be altering activations. Yeah. Kind of like Sigmar. It is. So let's move it in and let's see what Jonathan wants to do. I like it. All right, people. Because of the free interrupt, we're we're not mucking about. We're gonna start with the warlord bloodthirster into the demon prince. I'm scared. He is towering over him. Uh, jeez. My wee little wings. It's truly a David and Goliath situation right here. Okay, Jonathan. Don't build it up in case I whiff. <laughs> okay, so... So what? it's six base. Six base. Seven because of I charged. Okay, that's cool. So the strength is going to be... 11. Okay. Hitting on twos, and he, his warlord is re-rolling once. Okay. Oh Two's re-rolling once. Nice. Do you get death to the false... Pink guys? No, it's, uh, six. Is, <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Sixes count as two hits. Oh. Really? 
They do. Oh my. Just, just one, two. So that's kind of better than Death of the False Emperor, because you don't even have to roll for it. Mm. All right, so, so strength 11. 11? So and just, just uh, three. Uh, three's tuned. That's pretty good. So that's, what, six? Six. What's How much damage? What's the minus? Yeah. The minus is four, my young friend. And what's the damage? D6. Okay, Dill. Ooh. You got some five ups to make. How many? How many? Six. All right. Let's go, baby. I'm letting Dill scoot over before Six? he grabs his dice. Is that Sinesh's number? It uh, is. <laughs> it is. All right. How many five ups can this boy make? Six. All right. For Slanesh. Screw the bloodthirster. He makes two. I make two. That's four d6 though. Now, can we just say they're a flat three because I don't <laughs> want to roll d6? I do roll four d6. I do have five up feeling up pain, so, so it doesn't matter a lot. Wait, 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 I, I, wait I, I, think his, I think this is a six up actually, because I think I, so, I think Slanesh is a six up feeling up pain, isn't it? No. Oh no, no, no the, the demon one. The demon one gets screwed. Six, the so I, might, I might want to re-roll one of these to uh, try and get another save, because it could Right. Save. So do you want to at least tack back? Okay. He's going to fight twice and kill him, Okay. no matter what. Okay. How many, how many CPs? Do I, was that, I was at 500. You have seven. seven. Okay, I'm going to use one. I'm going to okay. use one. Okay, he's going to go down to six. All right, let's go. Save. Save yourself. Green tire logo. Show me. Fuck no. Me. Okay, okay. 40, Jonathan, 40. Do not fear. You do have a CP. He here. has seven wounds. Eight wounds. Eight wounds. 14? 10, 14 wounds. Here we go, baby. We're gonna save them. Bill's going to need a lot of fives and sixes. I'm just going to go around this way. i got to stop getting in these guys' way. Okay. Fives and sixes. You need to make seven of these. Poor Slanesh. Save yourself, brother. One, two, three, three four, 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 five, six. No, no, no. It's not enough. No, I need one more. No, I needed how many? Oh, you had seven wounds? Two, yes. Four, oh, shit. No, he has eight. He eight wounds. Eight, eight wounds. So Hang it's on. actually eight perfectly. Oh. That's 36, eight, eight, eight perfectly. You use the command roll. That's unfortunate. He can't even command point it if That's he wanted to. Because remember, you can't. You can, there's only certain things you can use command points on. Don't bring kids. Don't point. bring kids to an adult battle. Oh, 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 he's dead. He plucked the wings right <laughs> off his chicken. <laughs> okay. All right, people. After that, pretty dope display. Not gonna lie. Sorry, Dill. Um, these marines are gonna strike back because uh, they can do that, and they're slanesh. So they're they're fighting against the dogs. Yes. So twenty-one attacks because of uh, what's it called on your ca the chaos version of? Uh, um, I have no idea. Oh, uh, I don't know. Hateful assault, I think. Yeah, oh, it, is, it is. It is. Oh, get these twos out of my face. It's a lot of ones and twos. <laughs> They're afraid of the dogs. They saw the demon prince die on the other side. Of the I know the demon prince is dead. That's a big blow to Brown. And then uh, what's the wound? Force. 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 So. Just a bit of a whip Just there. four. Four wounds. Can Dill kill a couple dogs? Please. Oh, oh my, my God. gosh. Cord! Cord is Cord! powered up. The the blood is just running through the oh, battlefield. No. And Cord is no. powered up. Jeez. Hang on. Jeez. No. <laughs> Don't do it, please. No, please. Right, Don't do it. Sacrifice. No, we, we need to monetize this video. <laughs> okay, let's go to somewhere else. All right, guys. Next up, the axe guy. He's going to sweep. So he's got he's got the big axe and one we can sweep for for double number attack. So it's six space, seven for the charge times two is fourteen. Cool. Okay. So we're on twos and we're within the reroll one range of the warlord. Okay. Oh my. God. That's a lot of hits. Do sixes do anything special? I don't know if this guy does. Good question. Okay. I believe it's every one of them. Yes, there are two hits. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> so one, two, three. Look right to you. Okay, yep, sounds, sounds about right. And these wound on ones? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Impossible, but... No, it, it's, <laughs> it's definitely going to be twos. you Oh, no, play. hang on, the, the sweep might be different. It's only user, strength seven. So it's, it's threes. It's threes, okay. Oh, no, plus one strength for the uh, charge. So it's back, it's back oh. to them twos. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, that was... You didn't roll any twos anyway. I did miss one, that's unfortunate. <laughs> just really wanted to make... Just, you know, give us a no clarification. All right, so what, 16, what, my young What's the friend? minus? On the sweep, it's only minus two. Okay, oh, so you got five ups here. You can make a couple of these. I think that's the yeah. Unit. That is the unit. <laughs> oh, no. Unfortunately, but they all okay. need to fight before uh, they That's die. true. So I let's. Just need, let's I just need to check if they get one attack each or they're normal. So let me just... okay. All right, people. Uh, we thought they'd get to fight back. They don't actually get to fight back, but they can shoot their bolt pistols still. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause that's a rule. So, so we'll do five into that guy, and yes. then three into the other one. So the first five, hitting on threes, uh, re-rolling ones, because I am in range to the... Mr. Murder Swords here. Nice. Yep. And then, uh, five to end. What's your toughness? 
Seven. Seven five, so one wound. Okay, nice. What's the minus? Or what's your? Okay, <laughs> well, it's, it's that. Oh, the altar's powered up. You hate to see it. Five wound. Okay, two wounds. Two. Wound. Okay, so oh. one save. So uh, one wound on the left one. Okay. Wait, what's their what's the what's their save? Is it only a five up? No, it's three up. We're good. Oh, oh okay. okay. I'm I sorry. Know. I didn't explain that. I okay. <laughs> no problem. Cool. Okay, so now we just have the dogs to fight. It's been a pretty brutal turn so far. I mean, losing the prince is big. You killed dogs. How many dogs did you kill? Did I didn't kill you any. didn't kill any. Oh, I know. I know. It's just one. And this is important because because he killed these two units, it will prevent uh, Dill from getting attrition, which, you know, oh, yeah. pretty, actually, pretty big. Actually, pretty big. That was All big. right, last fight to go is going to be these dogs here. Who <laughs> wither the storm. Or weather, wither, weather the storm. Uh, how many attacks do they get each? Two? Two each. So it'll be 12 total. Okay, nice. Hitting on threes, and they're out of range, so just straight threes. Okay. Oh, careful, oh. don't lean on the table. We don't want this beautiful board falling over. That's a good, that was a good roll. And then my strength is only four, but I get five. Oh, <gasps> hang on, guys. Oh. I cheated myself at six more attacks. Why? Why is that? It's corn. He's charging. Oh. Extra attack. Oh. Thank you, corn. <laughs> Thank you, corn. Great. And pitch. so these will be on threes because of the extra strength. Okay, nice. Five to four. Looks like a good hit. Is there any AP on this though? Minus one. Minus one, okay, that's not bad. Uh, so three, six, nine there. Uh, what is it wound on, threes or fours? Threes because of the extra oh, okay. strength. So how many did you say? Okay. Uh, Once nine. again, I am in Dill's dice nine, face, I'll have to move around him. Wow. Okay. Can we get some saves? Four, four ups. ups. Oh my god. Three saves, eh? Okay, uh, how many is that? Six. Six, right okay. Yeah, six Who let the dogs out? So there's Corn four dead, left. All right. Pretty brutal strike back. That was... I'm not going to lie. That helped. Oh, uh, well, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, is Dill all done fighting? Uh, he's got the cultists. I did declare them, but I don't know if they're with the Oh, uh, well, if, if you don't go and... Uh, if you don't engage them, then they will not fight okay, you. So back. I just get uh, six bull pistol shots really quickly then, before I... Fight. Oh, yes. Yeah. Fours. Uh, three three wounds. wounds. Okay. Okay. Let's soften them up. No minus. Three ups. Look, you took one. Yeah. Okay, nice. Alright, and then I can attack in my combat very quickly. Correct. Well, actually, those guys already fought because you uh, interrupted them. Oh, yeah, good point. Right? I forgot about that. Okay, nice, nice. These guys have a three up save? Oh, I'm a big fat liar. Yeah, so. Uh, that, that, uh, That's a dead dog. Yeah, so one I dog apologize. has been killed. That's okay. That's okay. I was thinking big, big guys. Okay, and also, Jonathan, if you want to, I don't know if it'll be worth it, but you can activate this bullet thirster on the left. Technically, if you want to try to get in range of the Warlord, you can't attack him because you didn't declare him. But uh, I don't know if that's something you'd be interested in. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, but I can, I'll just consolidate three inches closer, right? Uh, well, you can do six because you activate and then pile in. With the one you didn't attack. Oh, so I, I might as well dispute the... Uh, so I'll move this guy because he, he hits three afterwards, right? Yes. Oh, this is the okay. So we're doing the piling for this guy. Piling, and then I will get. Okay. I'll see if I can get within three and block the objective. Okay. So you can go six. All right. But if I'm within an inch, he gets to fight me. Correct. Correct. You do so have to go towards him anyways. I do. The closest. Right. Is it worth? We'll we'll uh, yeah. we'll measure this. We'll up. All right, people. So at the end of the pilings, uh, Jonathan is going to move here so that he's closer to the objective. Uh, Dill has uh, one of his havocs in there, and uh, this guy is. At least their intent was to be within three. Mm -hmm. So um. He's not going to take that objective from him, but what that's going to basically let him do is it's going to prevent uh, the dude, the guy from uh, going around and charging with the murder sword. Yeah, that's but he will get to fight, and he does have a power face, so he could do some big damage here. Mm. Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to use is... He is going to use the power fist, of course, and I did give him a... Um, what's it called? Oh, he didn't get... That's technically not a charge. He did not get charged, so he doesn't get any shock assault or anything like that. No, add one to the strength and attack. That's sad. Okay, well, what I will do is I will use my power fist. He has okay. four attacks with it. All right, sounds good. Hitting on uh, threes. Okay. Three rolling ones. Threes rolling ones. Okay. One there. All hits. And nice. then wounding on threes. You're talking about seven? I am. Okay, so three is to wound. Three is to wound. Three fails three ones. Wounds. He goes on his five up involved. John, Jonathan's been rolling his five ups pretty hot. Continue. He gets one. Okay. So power so, fist is D six or D three. So two D three here. Double six. So he takes six damage. Oh, I was ouchie. trying to get try and prevent getting shot from the last cannons, but I don't know what was worse. We'll see. Ouchie, 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 sins. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. That um, is the end of the turn. So that's the end of the turn. That was a pretty big hit back. Oh yeah. You're in. He's in the lines. He screened out most of the stuff. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, they can just come out. 
right in front of these guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty good. It, he prevented Dill from getting attrition. That was big because he killed the prince. Uh, oh, sorry, we have morale on these guys. Let's take, oh, yes. let's do their morale. So their leadership eight, I believe, and they lost six. Eight or nine. Oh, well, so a two. Eight, okay, so, so they're, uh, they're all good there. I have morale as well. Um, I yes, I lost two here. Okay, let's so do that. Morale seven. It's kind of important to roll for these now. They're insanely brave. Did you get one in the back? No, I didn't pay for it. Okay, that's fair. All right, um, but I mean, hey, there's three bloodthirsters in the lines. Dogs lost two. Dog lost just oh. one. He lost one. Just dog. one. So they cannot fail. Okay, very nice. Um, so oh, wait, did you lose a dog in the shooting phase as well? Because I did shoot them. There's one. Two, there was seven. Yes, so yes, did. Lose. Uh, so on a six, one more could run. They are insanely brave. It wouldn't have mattered if they lost nine of them. Um, okay, so now with the turn recap. Yeah, like I said, pretty big punch back from Corn. But again, can they keep this lead? Because Dill's out. A lot of Dill's uh, heavy hitting units are coming in. The ten Terminators plus the two of Blitz. Um, but there's no denying that killing that Prince uh, was pretty big. Tying up these guys was nice, and uh, killing these guys over here a little less. Uh, a little less chaff. Mm -hmm. We'll say. Uh, so let's see what Dill does to retaliate. He's still got some units on the board and he can still hit back pretty hard. Uh, so let's see what goes on. In Emperor's Children, turn two. All right, people, this is the end of the movement phase. Uh, I mean, everything pretty much shuffled back, but the big show here is the 10 Terminators and the two Obliterators coming in to lend their support. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a trap all along. They wanted to lure the Bloodthirsters out with the scent of blood, a uh, sacrifice demon prince to do it. Mm -hmm. But now this is going to be a brutal charge back, or a brutal hit back, and also uh, Dill does have a strat once again. The worst strat in the game. I'm just kidding. It's really good. It's just stupid. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> that can almost guarantee him a charge there. Mm -hmm. uh, every, uh, this guy fell back. He won't be able to do anything, but he's just giving everyone rerolls. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so did that get 10 points for the uh, secondary there? Because of, uh, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, the primary, yeah. right, right. Um, because he was holding these two objectives. Jonathan could not uh, get him off of it. But now they got to defend against these bloodthirsters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see what they can do. It's going to be up to Jonathan if he can uh, make his invulns. That's all it's going to come down to. So we'll get into the psychic phase and we'll be right back. All right, one psychic power from this guy coming in. Uh, by the way, Dill just shuffled these guys around so he could hold that objective for next turn. Yes. Can he defile the tree? He needs a warp track value of three. Yes. That's a five. Oh, I might want to, because he can. Oh. Yeah, he can. Uh, decast he can it. decast with the dog. Yeah, I need a high roll. CP. Okay. Yes. From a five to a what? Hopefully not lower. Five to a six. Okay. Still possible. Jonathan, can you decast? <laughs> That's a nine. Oh. Okay, so oh. he's going to need to... Be, uh, oh. It's going to take another turn for that to happen. Uh, unfortunate. Oh, unfortunate. No. Okay. Okay. Well, my plan, okay. you know, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Okay, people, we're going to start off with these Havocs shooting into this Bloodthirster. Yes, the full one. So, full one. are you putting any strats or anything on them? Uh, what... It's hard because okay, okay. One question: What is the tough? He's tough in seven, right? They're all, yeah, all seven. All of their shields are tough in seven. Okay. It's tough because I have obviously Emperor's Children for how much fighting there. They're actually really good at shooting. Right. So I do have a conundrum. I, I feel like that's their main thing. <laughs> well, I think well, fun, like I think like lore wise, I think they're more combat focused. But it's just funny how it is. doesn't show itself in the gameplay. <laughs> but um, what I was thinking is because I do want to do some. I want to get the eight wounds on this guy as well. Right. Okay. But I'm thinking is. I'm probably gonna do try and use that noise marine strat on them to get them the two damage, and I'll probably okay. veterans them as well. Okay, makes so, sense. So I think we're gonna we're gonna save the strats for them, and we're just okay. gonna shoot straight up at this one. There's two. Alrighty, so there's gonna be threes rerolling ones here. Go yes, ahead. So I'll do the two missile launchers first. Two hits. Do it. Uh, wounding on threes. Wounding on threes, yes. Two and a four. Okay. Okay. Jonathan Invuln. Five up. Okay. No first D six. Six. Yes. That's a six. There we go. Two wounds left. Over it. No, they start. How many? Do they have? 16? 16. Oh, 16. Sorry. Four, four wounds. Okay, sorry. I thought they had 14. Okay. Then we got okay. the last cannon. Okay. Last cannon. Okay, one miss. One hit. Okay. Three is to wound. Two. Okay. Okay. Let's through. Invuln here. No, a four. You're going to CP? No, still, still doesn't happen. Okay, a four to kill, right? Yes. So I'll give him a six. Oh, That's a, a one. 
A what? We're gonna use a CP. Okay. This is a good time to use it. Alrighty. From a one, he needs a four up to kill his Bloodthirster. Yeah. A oh. three, he's got one. Okay, he's got one left. Mm -hmm. So he lives for now, but I mean, he is in, he's in kill range from other things. Yes. Okay, so let's uh, get on to something else. All right, now let's the go Terminators are gonna shoot everything into this guy. He's only got one wound left and they got 20 shots. Yes, hitting on threes, rolling ones. Get these twos out of my face. Just one. He doesn't like the twos. I hate the twos. Okay. All right, and then fives to wound. Five to wound. Come on, Terminators. I'll give you three. That's way more than three. That's a lot. Let's go. Four. Five, six. six. Slanesh's number. And what is his what is his save? Three up. Three up. Any invul no IP? No, <sighs> You need to make a lot of three ups here, Jonathan. That's mm -hmm. him dead. He has been killed. One blood thirster down. To be fair, he lasts longer than normal. But <laughs> okay, so one down. We'll see what he wants to do with the rest. Oh, that gets me. Alright, now these noise marines are gonna shoot into the warlord. Yes. Wanting to bring him down. So we are gonna use excruciating frequencies again. Okay. Putting the Wander Wall to 11. And I think we are also going to use Veterans of the Long War 2 to make them Okay, easier. nice. So that is that. That is it's only... Uh, veterans is 1, so it's only 2 CP to do okay, that. Okay. That's just kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that, seems, that seems reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll start off with the uh, the big the big ones. These will hit on 4s because I did move. I had to shuffle them around. Okay. So it's D3 shots each. Yes. So 2 D3 shots. Uh, 4 shots. That's pretty good. And these are hitting on 4s. Hitting on 4s. Two hits. Two no hits, re-rolls. Nine re-roll range. But these do wound on twos because they're strength eight. Okay. Veterans. So two. Two wounds. And these will be on your end. Oh, uh, yes. So five ups. Oh, no, makes no. neither. Two. Let me check the damage really quickly. Okay. All right, so this is going to be D3 plus one damage. Now, it's interesting to note, remember, this guy can only take eight wounds in a face. Yes. So? So. We'll do the eight right here because it's D3 plus one. So uh, not quite. Three. So five. Five so far, right, cool. he takes three more, and then uh, he will be maxed out for the phase. Kind of a gas call rule. So do you want to do the rest of the shots? Yeah, I'll shoot the uh, combi plasma first really quickly. Okay. So Overcharging? Hit. No. Okay. Because uh, I don't want to kill him. Hitting on threes. Yep. Wounding Two on hits. twos. Fours. Or sorry, threes. Veterans. Well, it's strength eight, right? No, it's strength seven because you didn't overcharge, you said. Oh, yeah, thank you. What would I do with that, Nico? So, two more? Two anvils. Oh no, three ups. Uh, no, it's in wounds, yeah. So two more wounds. So two more wounds. Oh, it's plasma. Oh, it's a plasma, yeah. Right. So now the, the other noise boys. So I got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Twenty-one shots. Twenty-one shots Eight. here. Yikes. So you can only take one more wound. Yeah. Correct. It's a cool warlord trait. What is that? Is it a warlord trait or a relic? It's the exalted status. Oh. That's pretty neat. So hitting on threes. No rerolls. Oh. Didn't need them. Uh, wounding on fives usually, fours you get a veterans. Okay. Not bad. So these are three, six, seven saves. You can only take one more damage. So. Yeah, so, but it is a three up, there's no minus. And, and two. Nope. No, okay. So he only takes one more damage. So he's at 12. So he's got 12 wounds remaining. No, he's 12 total. He's 12 total. So he has six he, remaining? He has six remaining. Yes. Six remaining, okay. Okay, very nice, very nice. Who's he set up for later? The murder, the murder sword. sword. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Fair so, enough. I'll probably come back to them to uh, shoot them again. But okay. I'll wait for wait for now. All right. So okay. I'll just do the bolt pistols here really quickly. Okay. And then you do have the obliterators. Oh, that's a good point. So hitting on threes. No rerolls. Good thing. And fours. Ooh, four. Four wounds. wounds on the dogs. Oof. All right. Come on. Save power up. Uh, one and a half dogs is killed. All right, now it's time for the obliterators. Move them around a little bit, uh, cause Dill wasn't aware of uh, how the minus one to hit works um, because he couldn't draw line of sight to his base from the second one. We just moved him over cause that's what we would have done. Yeah. Had he know. So now this is gonna be, we're gonna roll for the profile. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be the minus? Uh, no, the uh, strength. Strength, okay. Strength seven, okay. Ooh, that makes a big difference. Minus. Uh, yep. One. <laughs> this one. And damage. damage. One, two, three. Two. Okay, it was a three. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's funny. So he's gonna be shooting at this bloodthirster here. See if you can take him down. Twelve. All right. So twelve shots. Correct. Hitting on three, drilling one because the Lord. Oh, you love to see it. He's are winning on fours though. Oh, this uh, yeah, that hits. What's the damage? Four. Three. Uh, two. Oh, two, two, two. Oh, 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 two. O
Force the wound at the threes matter? No oh, matter for one of them. Uh, okay. So that's not bad. So six. Six. six saves and minus one, though. Six saves and minus one. So you have a four. Or fours. Uh, four, by the way, because you have a minimum, right? God. Oh, oh yikes. I just, fall, I just fall yikes. apart. Ten. Ten damage. So he's got eight left. Damn. Ouch. Uh, si uh, six left. Six left. Yeah. Wait, did I have 18 wounds or 16? 16. 16. 16. I, okay, I seem to get that wrong a lot. The green and clean ones are, six, are 18. Which I part see. Three off. Okay, well, that was 10 damage right there. Hurts quite a bit. A little unlucky on the saves, so uh, now we're probably going to endless cacophony somebody. Uh, let's see who that is. All right, cacophony has been activated. These noise marines are going to be shooting into this chariot. He is a character, but let's remember people. Uh, there's not uh, any units within three or monsters close to him, so they can shoot him for free. And it's kind of crazy, like, uh, that that rule for Jonathan only taking eight wounds is really saving him right now. Yes, that, that, for there's sure. There's a really good chance he would do it. Yeah, you know? 100%. Okay, okay, though. All right, so I'll start with the uh, Blastmasters first. We'll do the heavy ones. Mm -hmm. So okay. 2d3 shots into him. Uh, four shots. Nice. And then hitting on fours. No re -rolls. Fours and re-rolls. Two hits again. And then these are wounding on twos. Yes, because of the veterans. veterans. Uh, one wound. One. Minus of... Insignificant. Two. Shit. So one. Three plus one damage. <laughs> so two damage. Two damage. Okay. So you got five remaining. Five remaining. You got a combi plasma. I don't think it is in rapid fire. Well, it actually is. Nice. So two shots from the combi plasma. Oh wait, is it combi plasma? Is that portion rapid fire? Yes. It is? Okay. Perfect. Yes. So hitting on fours, no overcharge. And then wounding on a three. threes. Good. One, One wound. wound. Five up. Can you make a save? No, he used all the saves last turn. Is that two more? Yes. No, 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 no just, just one, because he did not overcharge that. So you have four wounds, three wounds, maybe? Four wounds. Okay, okay. Three, so three, six, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Twenty-one shots again. He does have eight. Oh, he does have What is his armor save, Jonathan? Five up. Ooh. Yeah. Good chances could do it. Yeah. All right, twenty-one shots. Hitting on threes. Good noise, boys. Okay, some ones and twos in there, but again, it's just a lot of dice to roll. And then wounding on fours, get a veteran. Yes. What a combo. Okay. Uh, six saves. These are two you damage You need each corn to bless you. They're two damage each. Oh, Not that was quite. Close. Not quite. Okay, so that guy does go down. Mm -hmm. Big ouchie. All right, first up, we're going to go to the Mauler Fiend. He's going to charge these bloodhounds. A 10, yeah. perfect. perfect, gets him in there. Okay. All right, All right. next up the Mutilators are gonna charge in no overwatch. He was contemplating it for a little bit, but really overall not worth it. One. Yeah, can't fail. Nine. Nine, perfect, gets him in there. All right, people, now it's time for the Terminators once again with a strat that can almost guarantee a charge, but Dill will roll for it anyways to see if he maybe doesn't need to spend that CP. So I need a nine. Uh, what is that? Two and one. A two so and a one. Okay, well, so uh, I will have to reroll it anyways. So okay, right. So I'm gonna spend one CB to reroll it. Okay, so don't roll a two and a one again. Yeah. So then you can turn one into a six. Yeah. So, so I need at least a three. A three on one dice. Yeah. Six. Yeah. So I got need. Okay. I need no, it no, still. No. You're. you're uh, yes. I still need to use the CP. So that right. will be my uh, last CP. Okay. So he's basically okay. So people, if you don't know what happened there. <laughs> Emperor's children has a stratagem when they make the charge, mm -hmm. they can turn one of the dice automatically into a six. Yes, it's called Honor the Prince. Pretty One ridiculous. CP, really, really good. Really good. The prince is dead. I guess that's why they're honoring him. Yeah, well, that's sure. a good point. Pretty ridiculous, but yeah, so there they go. All right, people, we're gonna start off with the Terminators. It's gonna be the five lightning claws going into the prince. Yes, so they have uh, four attacks each because I charged and they're dual. Correct. So okay. hitting on threes, rolling ones, the Lord right there. Okay. Oh, that was very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then these five wounds that you can re-roll these. Yes, because of lightning claws. And he has six wounds remaining. Yes. So not uh, bad. Decent spread. Not bad to start. Decent spread, and the re-roll is certainly going to help that. It looks like six already. Mm -hmm. Pick up an extra three. Yeah, so nine saves. So nine four-ups, Jonathan. Yes. Pray to core. They don't have any AP, right? Minus two. A uh, lightning claw? Uh -huh. Yeah, lightning claw is minus two. How many, I'm sorry? Nine. Nine. Four ups here. I don't know where to roll. He's got a four I'm not, I'm not a good place. We'll try here. <laughs> okay, it's a good place. Not even, oh it was God. not a good place. Oh that this kills him oh immediately. This is just oh boy. Devastated. Okay, so right away the lightning claws spear that bloodthirster to death. Do you have a fight when you die? Talk to me. Oh, well, oh. I'm going to take that as a no. Actually, 
He's gonna look. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. All right, now Jonathan's gonna spend two CP, see if he can kill those noise marines. Before, Before they die, they're gonna taste some blood. All right, I like it. These are threes. Threes. Not re-rolling ones. It's unfortunate. Okay, four hits. Uh, there's four left. Uh, four and I wasn't right. charged, so these are fours. Oh, you were charged. I was. I were charged. Yeah, by the Mauler feed. By the Mauler feed. So one more. Okay. And then wound. No. Uh, so three. Three. Three and minus one. Three and minus one. Okay. Three four up saves for my noise marines, the noise boys. So two, two die. die. So I'll just shoot their bolt pistols really quickly. Okay. Uh, two hits, and then one wound. One wound. Does not make that did safe. you see the five? I, I didn't. I was behind the tree the whole time. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So now we'll get to the Mauler Fiend attacking, see if we can wipe these puppies out. All right, now it's time for the Mauler Fiend, sneaking up from behind the dogs. I don't know if I like that. Oh, I do. Okay, so four attacks with this. Uh, these are uh, hitting on fours. There it is. Okay. And two hits. Wounding on twos. Yep. So two wounds. Two five ups. Let's make some saves. No. No. Okay, the saves have gone cold for Jonathan, Flat unfortunately. Damage, so that's two those. dead. Okay, and then six attacks from the tendrils. Okay. Hitting on threes or fours? Uh, hitting on fours. Okay. Threes. Hit. And then threes to wound. Yep. Two saves, sir. You make one? He makes one. What's the damage, though? Oh, that's a good point. Two. About two. Yeah. Okay, so that does wipe out the dogs and that does wipe out a, the denying power. Uh, so that's actually pretty big that's for the big. secondary, because uh, Dill could get that 15 points. Uh, so, is that the end of the turn? I assume it is. It is. All right, well. That was a pretty big hit back. That Killing the two bloodthirsters, of course, was big. Uh, kind of a shame they don't get a, a fight die. before they die. Yeah. Um, but I understand. I, I don't get that either in, in cult. Um, and yeah, so Jonathan does have some blood crushers to come in. He's still got this guy, but will oh, it be shit. enough to disrupt uh, to disrupt Dill's lines and run away on the points? He is going to get a lot of points for, this, for the primary this turn. Uh, 15, to be exact. Mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty good. Um, so let's see if Jonathan can rack up a point, because he's going to need to hit hard to try to survive this next turn. Alright people, Corn is finished moving. Big guy, barely breathing, moving back here to whip some stuff and uh, charge some of the back lines. These Bloodthirsters are moving up along with this guy. This Skull Cannon holding that objective. These Blood Letters still staying back. These Blood Letters moving up to hopefully hit some cultists. These guys just kind of stank here. Also holding that objective. So, Jonathan is on the back foot for sure. Uh, points, he did get 15 points for his uh, for his primary, for sure. Um, but the big problem is that losing those two bloodthirsters means that he does lose a lot of his hitting power. Um, so with the one left, basically what he's got to do now is he has to play for points. Mm -hmm. Uh, which, you know, this, these new missions, while they, I, I'm not a fan of them, uh, that is something you can definitely do. Um, oh, by the way, the Blood Crushers came in here that will get him uh, another one for Engage on all fronts. So basically, Jonathan's just going to try to drag this out, kill as much as he can, see if he can get to a point where he can win solely on the objectives, uh, and Dill will have uh, trouble keeping up. Mm -hmm. So his plan essentially right now is to kind of leave this stuff alone, well, except with that. Um, and go here and try to tie these guys up. So, let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. We will go right into the shooting phase because there is no psychic phase. All right, first up, the uh, big bloodthirster is going to shoot into the obliterators. What is this weapon? Oh, I think he degrades. His ballistic skill does degrade. Okay, so now <laughs> it is a... Six. A s yes. Okay. So this is D6 Flamer on two. Okay. Wounds on... What's the toughest of those bad boys? Five. Five. And they have four wounds. Toughness five. Okay. So fours, one wound, minus one. Okay. okay. Two nice. Up save, so a three up save. Good. He's good. Underwhelming. Uh, you still have the Skull Cannons. We will go Skull Cannons into the Terminus. They scare me. Okay. Sounds good. D6. <laughs> uh, well, you do get, actually, funnily enough, how many is in there? Ten? Mm -hmm. So you oh. do get three. I'll take it. Thank you, sir. Hey, you're welcome. Um, threes. Uh, fours, because fours. of the minus one. Because this guy can't draw a base to any of these guys. You do okay. hit all three times, though. And then strength eight to four twos. Twos. Okay. What's the minus? Three wounds here. Minus two. Oh, nice. So four of six. What's the damage? D3. Oh, nice. This kid kill a couple. He uh, fails two. Yep. So first one. Uh, kills one Terminator. Nice. Nice. 
Kills one Terminator. Okay, peeling off two there. That's not a bad trade. Do you want to do the same thing with the next one? I do. Okay. Four. It's on are, fours. These are line of sights. We're good. Oh, uh, no, because remember we were saying this was Oh, a, the tractor. The tractor is uh, obscuring. Unless there's any threes. There was oh, a three. There you go. Have fun. Is it one? Minus two. Minus two. Nope. Three. He kill a third one. He, he kills three Terminators. Okay, Pretty okay. Good. Every Terminator is a big hit here. Okay, so I'll not bad, not side. bad. All right, first we're going to start off with these blood letters going into these cultists. It's the longest one. He does a nine. Oh. Does not make it. Reroll. Rerolling. Oh. I see a one there. Doesn't make That's it. Unfortunate. unfortunate. He's got one CP left. Okay. Uh, who wants to go next? These fellas into the. Mutilators. Mutilators, okay. There you go. Guess it easily. All right, nice. All right, now this guy going into the obliterators and the uh, noise marines. A six, more than enough to get him in there, okay. Some plays are happening. Oh, moved him a little bit. Uh, and then these guys are going to go in there. So this is a 3d6 charge. All right. CP's been spent. So do you get to choose the two highest, or is it 3d6 actually? We'll look it up. I think it's 3d6. <gasps> yep. That doesn't make it either way. That should be the game. That is unfortunate, that but okay, wait. It's it's not the end of the world because you do tie up their shooting with this guy. Yeah. So it's not it's not the end of the world, um, but you do have a choice to make. So let's see where he wants to fight. All right, we're gonna go with the big guy going two attacks into the obliterators. Rerolling ones because of okay, we're good. Two hits, wounding on. This is strength ten. So twos. Oh, I charged. Excuse me, I charged. I'm oh. oh. I cheated myself. Okay, he makes it. Good. And he only has two attacks, so he's degraded so much. Okay, sounds good. So it's 11? Yes. So twos? Twos. Three wounds. What's the minus? Minus four. Do obliterators have a... They have a five up in okay. They're Three terminators. Yeah. Oh, he makes two. He makes two. Yeah, so one D6. How, much, how many wounds they have? Four. Four up here? Oh. One <laughs> damage. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. I'd that... like you guys to leave, and I'm going to go home in my room, and I'm going to cry. Okay. Ready, huh? Unfortunate. <sighs> All right, now we're going to go with the Mutilators, because remember, he gets a free interrupt, doesn't need to spend any CP anywhere. Yeah, so uh, it's, they're just like Obliterators, but combat-wise, so we're going to do the D3 oh, stuff. That's pretty neat. So D, plus D3 to my strength. So plus one, so there's strength six. That's all that's really gonna matter, honestly. Uh, oh yeah, the AP doesn't really matter. I don't want to roll anyways. Three. Okay. And then damage, D3, two. Okay, very that's nice. Cool. All right, so they get... They have three attacks, and then they have plus one on the charge, obviously. Okay, cool. So, because they got charged, sorry. Right. So, four attacks each. They get to maybe get their first blood. Any on threes? No rerolls, because the Lord's too far. Oof, doesn't really matter. And Still then, a good hit. Wounding on threes, because your top is four. Uh, three. Three. So, two. Twos. Oh, cool. All right, so it's going to be eight saves, sir. Eight saves. Five All right. ups. Alright, little heroes. This it's is time. this is Korn's number. It's time, heroes. Oh! Two, three? So I lose five. Three. Five are gone. That's half the unit. Oh, sorry, no. They lost even more, so there will be three of them left to strike back. Alright, All right, now these last three, again, the Emperor's Children thing, pretty brutal. We'll be striking into the mutilators. So just one attack each, and then one extra for the things. So six. Correct. On threes, no rerolls. And they are strength five. My toughness four. So two. Two moves. Uh, any minus? Uh, three. Minus three? Yeah. They're, yeah. they're not. Oh, wow, they all have yeah, that. Yeah. Crazy. So five up saves. So two plus saves. So one goes down to one wound. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Welcome to the party, pal. Big oof. All right. Now the Marines are, are now they'll get to strike back against Big Poppy over here. So yes. well, let's gather some dice and we'll attack with the obliterators. Okay. All right. These obliterators attacking. The big guy right here. Oh, big whiff of a turn for Jonathan. Unfortunately, if he can live here, maybe, maybe he can stand a chance. He doesn't want to see this demon prince going down. Okay, so I got my crushing fist attacks, four attacks from each of the because they were uh, charged. Uh, hitting on threes. Hit. And I'm rerolling the one because my sword. Hit. And that well, was, that was a hit. And then I'm wounding you on the strength? Uh, strength six. So five. five. So five. So okay. Ooh, four wounds. Four wounds. <laughs> minus God. one. All right, Jonathan. Damage. How many? Minus one? Minus one. So fours. How many does that have left? How much is it? Four wounds remaining. Just oh my! Oh, oh no! Three D three here. Hang on, I got one left. You want to use it? It's, so it's two D three, and I've got four left. Yes. So average, you'll still kill you. 
Reroll. He's doing it. Oh. It didn't matter. Oh my god, the lug is three. gone. Oh, oh, oh I need to do four damage. Yes, yes, barely, so barely. Does he, he did stand four. back up on a fourth Yes. Cut? I think we know the answer, friends. Here we go. Corn. No, don't rub it like that. Oh, okay. He so stand. he stands back up with six wounds. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. That's something, at least. Uh oh. So he's not dead yet. Wait. Uh Wait, is he disengaged from the rest yeah, of that? Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. It's kind of interesting. So that might actually be big because then the all the stuff he was trying to tie up won't be tied up. Um, so let's see what the ruling is. All right, so we looked at the rules for the standing back up thing. Unfortunately, he has to be outside of an inch of the guys he was trying to tie up. So while it is cool that he lives, all the stuff that he wanted to tie up is no longer tied up. Mm -hmm. So we have morale for these guys. There's the six, everyone. That's the six. So one runs away, and then you have we roll two dice, and on ones and twos they will run. Okay, they're good. So just one runs away. Just that's that's kind of helpful. Okay. Um, so I guess it's tying up those guys, which is pretty neat. But again, Dill still has a lot of his heavy hitters, and they're going to hit back pretty, pretty hard. But again, an objective game, because Jonathan does have one, two, three, four quarters. Uh, that's another three points on the secondary. Mm -hmm. uh, did you achieve anything else? I did not. I keep forgetting to burn the objectives. I gotta get on them and I gotta burn them. Okay. I'll get there. Well, you can only burn the ones in my deployment zone. I'll get there. Okay, okay. He's at his end. I'm optimistic. And right. then uh, I did okay. score attrition. He did score attrition, yes, because he did not wipe so out that's enough. That's four, right? Yes. Okay. Very cool. Good. Very cool. All right, so let's see what the Emperor's children do to respond. Kind of a shooting gallery now for them. Oh, actually, the, the psych ritual, you got it. Why? That's 15, 15 points, isn't it? Well, no, he still, he still needs to do it two more twice. Times? Yeah. Two okay. more times. I have three turns to do it two more times. Yes. Okay, so let's see what exactly goes on here. Emperor's Children, a lot of their firepower is still up, so let's see them hit back. All right, people, Emperor's Children are moving forward, and as you guys can see, not a lot of corn left. Uh, Dill needs a big whiffer on this uh, turn to keep Jonathan in the game, but I'm not sure if that could happen. Um, everything is just kind of shuffled forward. They're just going to engage the threats in front of them. They're going to continue to defile that poor tree. And then uh, Uriel, this little boy here, little is boy. hoping to, well, compared to him, yes, uh, he's quite small. And even compared to the Blitz, he's a little small. He's looking to make a name for himself. Dill has informed me. He has six attacks with a murder sword. Yes, on the charge. On the charge. And he has six wounds left. Yes. So there's going to be no shooting at this Bloodthirster whatsoever. I guess that's cowardly. This could potentially uh, throw the game if Dill rolls bad. Uh, we all, wrote two ones in a row. We, right? we all know that it's Uriel... Three ones? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we, all, we all know that Uriel is... Uh, Big whiffer. A uh, big whiffer. We're gonna chase that too. Um, but hopefully today, by killing a bloodthirster, uh, he can, uh, you know, get a, get a name for himself. It's too epic, not too. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So where do you want to start? Oh, your psychic phase. You're yes. gonna do the psychic ritual. We have to defile this tree. Okay. One of three, and you can't deny it now. Okay, we're good. A five. Just need to do it one more time. Okay, one more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One more time and Dill gets 15 points. At the end of the game, yeah. Yeah, pretty good, pretty right. good. Okay. That's it for myself. Okay, first things first. These Havocs are going to shoot over at the Blood Crushers that just came in yes. so uh, from the other side of the board. Do the missile launchers first? Hitting yeah. on three snow rerolls. Uh, one hit. Uh, what's your toughness? Four. Oh, two to wound. Oh, it's only four? Unfortunately. Uh, Very. So one wound. One wound, five up. No! Come on, Jonathan, you gotta make the saves here. I think I'll get a three. A four! It kills one blood crusher, unfortunately. You wanna do the two last cannons? I do. Please. Two hits. Two hits. Two to wound? Really? That's crazy. That time is four. Oh, it's only one wound. One wound. Oh my gosh, can he get another we D6 have not damage seen a off? Five in a while, friends. Oh. A one, okay. Right. That's something at least, but he does get no, one Joe, blood I crusher. That. I appreciate that. <laughs> He's a thankful man. Next up, these two Blastmasters looking to take out some blood letters, try to soften them up for the Mollerfiend coming in. Yeah, so we're going to do now the D6 profile, so it'll be minimum three. Okay. So two D6 shots, so six and so nine shots. Oh, sorry, nine shots, yes. Because yes. that two becomes a three. Five. So nine shots, hitting on threes, no rerolls. Okay. Then a three to wound. Two. 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 So their toughness is three. Oh, yeah, because it's the. Wait, wait, what's your strength? Sorry. The smaller one is. It did a five or six, so I'll roll a okay. check. So. 
Need threes at least. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. okay. So four saves. Four saves. Five ups? Right, let's go in the rooms. Let's go in the rooms. Doesn't make any difference. It doesn't help. I don't think Jonathan's made a single invuln save yet. This is unfortunate. I have to agree. He only makes them when he plays me. Maybe he should have done Zeech. Okay, people, now it's time for the cultist rapid firing into these blood letters over here. Yes. Phil's gathering up the dice. They're all in rapid fire. Yes. 44 shots. Exactly. So this is my first 30. I'll just reroll 14. Of okay. Them. Four is followed by fours. Take out all the misses. Best part of watching a battle report, getting all the dice. Of course. People like dice. Alright, and then I need, I'll reroll 14 of them just because I had uh, 14 extra shots that I need to do. Yep. It's 10. So 14 more right here. Okay. Picked up a few more. Yes. And then four to, to wound. wound. Wow. Imagine having an auto gun actually wounding on a four. Just play Jonathan. Couldn't be. <laughs> fours. Fours. Oh my god. Oh, that's that. disgusting. That's oh a lot god. of wounds. That's a lot of wounds. The cultists. Because we're defining the tree. Three, right six. Them. How many is that? That's there's, four, a, oh, there's a three eight. here. Oh, thank you. Uh, f uh, 11. 11. Okay, it's enough to wipe the unit. Oh, We've changed dice. dice. He's changed dice. Oh god. Put your reading glasses on. They're a little falling. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd you get those dice? Suck it, cultists. How uh, they were cooking in the sun? That's two. Okay, two, two dead. That was a good one. Okay, <laughs> maybe Jonathan has renewed his luck. Hopefully, that'll be enough to carry him for the rest of this game. Okay. That's fun. Next up, we have the Obliterators shooting at the. What are those? Blood Crushers? Blood Crushers. Blood Crushers. D3, this will be adding to the strength. So, eight. Strength, eight, yep. Uh, AP, three. Three. No, Damage. That matters much. Three. Two. Two. Okay. Okay, so uh, four shots each. Alrighty. We're not twos though, that's gonna be big. Yeah, that is big. Threes, rolling ones. Nice. Nice. Six hits. Or, uh, yeah, six hits. And then twos to wound, which is really nice. Okay. Okay, so that's six what. Six saves. Alright, you're going to need no to do that exact thing again. He does save two, but. So these are D3? Oh, these are five two. Five two, five so that's two. enough for to kill so two blood crushers because one is on three wounds. Yes. So two, blood yeah, two, two, two blood crushers fall. Okay, now these Terminators uh, don't really have great targets, so they're going to shoot at this guy right here. Yeah, so eight shots. Coming in. Uh, it might be minus one. Wait, which ones have the bolters? Because oh, he's, yeah. he's kind of hiding behind this. Yeah, it is minus bolter. one. We'll give it, yeah. It's okay. minus one. So okay. four hits. What's the toughest on that guy? Four? I assume it's four. Two, two wounds. Oh, wait, Jonathan, what's the toughest on this boy here? Uh, same thing. Same thing as those guys. Four. So, two wounds. so, so he, we'll takes, he takes two wounds. Two Let's wounds. Check. Okay, cool. So minus, or no minus, uh, one save. Okay, cool. Alright. So one wound on this guy. Uh, what else do you have to shoot? I just have the noise marines left. Right, big noise marine blob, and then that'll wrap up the shooting phase. Yeah, so I think... Alright, now the unengaged noise marines are going to shoot their blastmasters back here, and going to shoot their little guns over there. This is the blessed unit that rolled a lot of saves, maybe they can do it again. Yeah, so I'll shoot my combi plasma first at this unit. Okay. And I will overcharge because the lord's there. Alrighty. So hitting on a three, we're rolling one. Hits. Hits. Wounding on a two. Wounds. Wounds. That's kind of silly. It's kind of silly that they're tough as four. Where are you? How many wounds? Oh, One this. Here. Oh. Off the board. Hey, invuln. We didn't spend a CP to reroll that. <laughs> it was an invuln catch. And then the two uh, Blastmasters, two D3 shots. Two, two shots. So two shots. Two shots, okay. Uh, they didn't move. Oh, no, they technically didn't move. They didn't. They still. So three to rolling ones. Nice. And then two to wounds there, strength eight. So two wounds. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Four wounds again. Uh, no, Four, two D three. This could kill one. Yeah. No, oh, just two damage. Two okay. Damage. Okay. Got there? Yeah, on that one. So two wounds on one of them, and then I'll shoot okay. all the sonic blasters. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one shots. All right. Come in here. Yes. Thirteen, seventeen, twenty-one. Take on threes. Oops. We're rolling one. Jonathan, you're gonna need to call the corn. What are you calling for? Uh, more uh, hot dice. <laughs> Take out those loaded ones. Lava dice. Alright, and then wounding on three? Yes. Great roll. It was a good roll. Uh, four, eight, twelve saves, sir. Twelve saves. Can you do it again? I believe Can you do it again? Done. Two, four, six. There's eight left. Yeah. No problem. You make five. No problem, he says. Oh, I'll keep uh. that. <laughs> Oh. It wasn't bad. It was not. He knocked over this. <laughs> uh, looks like we're alive. Six. 
six left. Okay. Two remain. All right. There's two left. Hey, I'm sure he'll take that. Can we roll the one? Okay. Oh, shit. Is that it for your shooting? Uh, yes. Okay, that's it for shooting. Let's get into these charges. All right, first thing, these Terminators are going to charge into these blood letters. A six. six should be more than enough. Yeah, just to get around and go towards the other Yeah, just enough. Perfect. Okay. Okay, who's next? Uh, here, let me move these guys first. Okay. Next up, the Mauler Fiend going to the blood letters. Here, I failed, but it's fun to run. Nine. Okay, cool. Easy. All and right. now, uh, this guy? Yes, Uriel. <sighs> Uriel. I'll spend, I mean, he, I'll, he can't. I'll spend a CP to. Oh. He doesn't have the CP to Overwatch. Oh, is that oh. ominous? Oh, he rolled a 12. Is that oh, ominous? Oh, no. He's running around him just to piss oh, him off. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Uh, Jonathan well, I can, cannot... I can't even, can even get in bolts, right? Jonathan cannot interrupt. So who do you want to go with first? Do you want to just go with these guys just to kill these two? One thing to know. We'll save this for last. I was gonna say, I was gonna charge in the obliterators too, but that put doubt on Uriel's ability. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All I right. I have no doubt. Okay, okay no I'll doubt. Let's go the Terminators really quickly, just so they can pile in and okay. touch this objective. So I'll do the one guy won't be able to hit. Well, we'll do we'll do all the claws first. So it's right. Twenty attacks. You can just just roll a handful. Okay. This is twenty. Twenty. Hitting on threes. And then threes re-rolling. That is true. No, then you want to just take a few saves right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. yeah, they're good. They're good. Okay. <laughs> All right, and that will mean Dill's going to grab that objective. So, uh, good for him. All right. You shall Next not pass. Is gonna you be the shall Mahler not pass. Fiend. These guys are not dying to that stupid well, looking Mahler Fiend. Mahler Fiend fists. Fist. 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 Exactly. That's two hits. Okay. So screw two. wins. Okay. Uh, one wound. On it was only one wound. So on a four oh. up, we'll say on a four up, it well, was. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. So that was the four up. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one dies. Uh, six tendrils. Uh, tentacles. Fours as well. Let's see. We're not uh, yielding. Two's. So four saves. Four. We're not yielding this objective. Uh, uh, three of them. Yeah, pass those morales. Okay, so that's three more oh, dead. Three more dead. <laughs> so I mean, there's enough. There's some there's in two. there. Yeah. All right. So now that that's out of the way, still. What you need to do is not roll a one, hitting on two is re-rollable, because each of these will do a mortal wound. Yes, the murder sword thirst. Okay. Jonathan, do you want to come try to put some bad juju on the dice? I was, I can't, there are children watching. I have lots to say. And Let's just put do. Uriel in the kill position. Okay. The kill button. Oh my. <laughs> he's on his shoulder. He's doing a sink kill. Yeah, he's kill. From Dawn of War. I, I can't say I don't respect it. Two's to kill. We don't need any rules. <gasps> Three there's ones. three ones. Jonathan, there's three ones. Come on, Bubba. <laughs> I'm swinging back. Give me one, one give me one one. Oh! Give me one one. Come oh! on. Come on, Whiffy. Come on, Whiffy. Come on, Whiffy. Oh! oh you're... He's dead. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You gave me hope. He's dead. Away. I can't believe you rolled three wait, ones. And wait, before he gets up, we're going to use my last CP, what I've been saying for the Chaos Boon Table. Oh! oh it will... Can he replace the demon prince? Spawn, I will become spawn, spawn, a demon. Spawn, spawn, spawn. He will oh ascend to demonhood. Double with sixes. Double, six. double sixes, please. I prince. want to see it. Uriel. Oh, what's this? What is this? Spawn? No. Six to all range weapons. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's whack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's it for the bloodthirster. Unfortunate, but Dill had the confidence. The uh, murder sword is back, it people. Is dead. It's yeah, back in a big way. He's dead. Ooh, ooh. Big oof. All right, Mahler fiend, attack him. One hit. Okay, nice. <laughs> They're demoralized. Oh, okay. Nah. All right, so now we need to take morale, and we're gonna show this because it's important. So these guys, uh, they lost eight. So wait, wait. Oh, how, how oh no, no, it's not automatic anymore. So, so we lose, you lose one. one. You need a three up for this guy to stay. He 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 runs. Oh, I'm excited he, about a one. No, no, he he. Cause you, cause you rolled. I'm with you. I yeah. know. Ne okay, those guys. Uh -oh. Okay, one runs. Two or one, they run. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, you guys can kind of see. Okay, well, <laughs> this is unfortunate. Top this of turn is, three. This is extremely unfortunate. That was the top of turn three. Brutal. Jonathan doesn't have much left. Hey, don't let us come to your house. This is what we'll do to you. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, let's see if Jonathan wants to continue. <laughs> because uh, Emperor's children are a very, very commanding uh, 
a board state right now because basically all he has is the two skull cannons. <laughs> These guys, uh... Well, we have to do them all okay, over there. Oh, okay, what's their... Okay, what's oh, oh, automatic pass. Okay, we'll take that. Um, but yeah. Uh, so let's uh, give Jonathan time to mull it over, and we'll see if he just wants to call it. He's looking up tactics. No, we're gonna, so we're gonna see if he had, uh... If I paid for the whatchamacallit. The no, what? I didn't. If I paid for the... Bring him back. I couldn't afford it. I see, okay. Well, Shit. uh, yeah. So let's, uh, let's give John a little time to think. Okay, people, we tallied it up, and Jonathan, would you like to read us the score? I'm surrendering. <laughs> He's surrendering, and the uh, reason for that is because, while obviously, yes, points are big, there just isn't enough, because it's just, these things can't really hold objectives, they could get taken out with the last cannons, this guy's probably going to die next turn, no matter how far he runs, these guys are most likely dead. Um, the bottom of turn three, 56, or 58, to 66. 66. That's what the plus 10 for painted, because that's what we do. Exactly. Uh, so 66, ironically, Slanesh's number. It looks like they've taken over this world. No longer an altar to corn. The tree's a little sticky. But yeah, they, yeah, they defiled a, the tree. It's they so defiled the tree. Uh, unfortunate, um, but again, it just kind of goes back to what we've been saying about ninth. Um, combat armies still Excellent. certainly struggle. They do. Certainly they do. struggle. Um, even an all-combat army like corn, even with a reduced board size, going second doesn't help. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll clean up, we'll wrap up. All right, everybody, there you have it. That was another battle report in the books. Victory going to Slanesh yes. on this day. Um, Jonathan has his thoughts. We'll get to that <laughs> into another video. Uh, very bloody battle. Uh, you guys can kind of see there that, um, Unfortunately, uh, with the new edition, while the points game was um, viable to play for, uh, just you really you still can't stop uh, when you're just getting murdered off the board. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, but there was some cool stuff. Got to roll some dice. It was very cool seeing an all corn force out mm -hmm. on the board. Uh, maybe didn't perform as we'd like. Uh, going second might have hurt them as well. I mean, going second will always hurt a, a charging army. Mm -hmm. um, but there you have it. Those are those results. Uh, let's talk about our MVP. So we'll start with Dill. Yes. So Victor, who who are your MVPs there? So obviously, don't do it. Don't you do so? Don't you dare say it. Obviously, the number one MVP, the final kill, doing six wounds with the murder sword onto his bloodthirster warlord, jumping on top of the mob. Oh yes. Insult, sink, insult sink, kill sink kill him. Don yeah. Ortiz sink kill. Even though I rolled three ones, there was never a doubt in my mind that he would make those rerolls. <laughs> you know, when when it's a game of chance, you know you have to t pose. You got to show people Whoa. that you can roll those dice despite the odds. And you know that makes you really even better. So obviously he's my number one MVP. But more realistically, the Noise Marines, especially the unit in the middle who survived. Sure. Obviously, when I played Nico before in the past, I only ever had one unit, so it wasn't much of a worry. You could just kill that unit, and you don't have to worry about Noise Marines anymore. But with this list, I bring 30, so obviously, in, in list building, especially in this edition and in 8th edition, a lot of bringing duplicate units helps a lot, especially if they're strong. And the Noise Marines, however, did get uh, nerfed, not super hard, but like, they're really expensive now. I think all three of my Noise Marines units were like 750 points. Jeez. So it's like, that's oh a my God. That's almost half my army. That's but, wild. But I'm... I will, I, you know, we'll do it for the channel. We'll do it for the channel. And I painted them all up before I even got to play with them in the old points. So you, had, you had to use them. So obviously, there's a lot of combos you can do with Emperor's Children, especially with the stuff you get in Faith and Fury, which makes them really great. So I do enjoy using them. And then finally, my last MVP will probably have to be my Terminators for just finishing off that se um, second Bloodthirster in the turn in which I killed two because I did get pretty I, get, I did get pretty lucky because the Havocs did a good amount of damage to the uh, first Bloodthirster and then I just used the Kami Bolters to finish it off and then the Terminators with all those Lightning Claws obviously another very expensive unit they're like 350 points I think for 10 of them but they're right. really cool and I think with Emperor's Children they're actually somewhat viable because off the Deep Strike you can use that stratagem to make one of the dice a six. 100%. And it got buffed even yeah, that's, more. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's so silly to me. Yeah. I cannot believe that exists. And it got buffed even more because you get to reroll both dices uh, when you choose to reroll a charge roll now. So basically, you're always going to make that charge if right. you use one CP at the minimum. Right. So ridiculous. it's pretty crazy. 
So yeah, those are my MVPs. So Jonathan, do you want to talk about yours? Um, what, what, what do you got? I'm going to say turn one was the MVP. I, I was I was optimistic as hell. They made my charges, mm -hmm. knocked the demon, decapitated the demon prince. <laughs> I was feeling good. Um, but the, the noise marines were amazing. Emperor's children were played very, very well. Lots of tricks. You guys got to see a lot of what they could do. Faith and Fury, I don't think, was, was really debuted that well. It kind, of, it kind of was just kind of snuffed away. And they, there's a lot of power in there. Mm -hmm. I think you saw it today. And it was nice to see a, a new army. If you're going to get beat my Marines, at least make them Chaos Marines and make them new Marines. So yeah. if you're going to get your ass kicked like I did, this was fun by a fun and interesting army. That's true. Okay. So there you guys have it. Those are the MVPs. Those are the two uh, kind of stars of the show there. Um, again, it was a very cool matchup. Very fluffy, you know, yeah, corn definitely. slanesh. They definitely. do not like each other. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a cool board going on. Got a cool little theme. There was some cool terrain to match it. So that's all you could really ask for when you're playing 40k. Mm -hmm. So that'll wrap it up for this battle report. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in for our next video where we will discuss our thoughts from this exact couch. All right, <laughs> see you there.